Hey, hey everybody. I'm going to do a vinyl finds here. This is going to be all assorted stuff, different kinds of things. Um, I have some Frank Sinatra here, some more Frank. But since I just made a couple of videos showing a lot of Frank, I figured I'd leave them towards the end for those that might uh, have had enough. So <laughs> wait to the end for those that want to see Sinatra. Anyway, um, what I'm listening to here in the background is this. It's a, the soundtrack. This is a 10-inch record to The Wild One. It's a movie starring Marlon Brando and Stanley Kramer film. It's funny, this is a jazz themes, jazz soundtrack. I watched this movie for the first time a few years ago, and I thought it was weird because the movie's made in 1953, and it has motorcycle gangs, and as you can hear, the music soundtrack is jazz. You know, it, what, there was no rock and roll yet, really, in the time this movie was made. So I always felt a little out of place with the movie. But I like the, uh, the sound of this record. And uh, whenever I go into my record store, they're always playing jazz, so I've been hearing a lot of it. It's touch and go with me. Some is better than others, but uh, I enjoy this. Okay, uh, I'm going to show this EP. This is a, a really cool EP with a nice picture cover on Decca Records. It's Bill Haley and the Comets, Shake, Rattle, and Roll. And it's got Shake, Rattle, and Roll on it and ABC Boogie. Uh, we're going to rock around the clock. And 13 women. This is a nice find. Okay. Um, this is uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, their first album. I'm a Tom Petty fan. And I really wanted to get this for some time. Uh, the thing about this album is that it's on, a, I think, a strange label. I don't know. Maybe somebody out there who knows this stuff can tell me if it's an original or not. Because the label, which I thought was a little strange, is uh, MCA Coral. Which I really don't know what that is. Um, is that original? Because you know, I could see that the cover doesn't have a barcode on it. So it's not a later pressing, I don't think. Not too much later, anyway. Okay, there's a guy in the store that... Uh, had a lot of 50s odd albums. I've been showing them here and there as I picked them up. The guy uh, who, who runs the store puts them out, you know, sporadically. And here's one of them, I guess, from that collection. Little Richard, early studio outtakes. And... A lot of good stuff on here. Keep a knocking, rip it up, Lucille. Whole lot of shaking. Heebie Jeebies, Long Tall Sally, Good Golly, Miss Molly, Slipping and Sliding. Good sound quality. This is the first album by Jan and Dean on the famous uh, door label with the feather. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but I had this on a compact disc and I really liked it. It's got the song Baby Talk on it and a real funny uh, tune that I liked as a kid that I used to play called Jeanette Get Your Hair Done which is a lot of fun. Um, this particular album, I don't know what to make of this. It's not an original, because it would have been a lot of money if it was. It's a flimsy cover. Uh, I don't know if it's a bootleg or an import. It's got this label on it. Kind of a dark blue version. And there's no country of origin on here. So I'm not sure what to make of it. Okay, uh... This is a UK pressing of the Rolling Stones' Beggar's Banquet. It's an album that I didn't have yet, uh, and I picked it up now. I really did a, a really good cleaning job on the cover. The cover was really grimy and dirty all around here. It looked like it got through uh, World War II or something. <laughs> it was really a mess, and I cleaned it up. Now, it's not perfect because on the back here, there was uh, a tear and some scotch tape. I tried to rationalize to myself that, well, this is the Beggar's Banquet album, after all. Originally had a, you know, a dirty bathroom and toilet on it. I guess this album is supposed to look kind of ratty. I played the first track here, Sympathy for the Devil. And uh, at the beginning of the song, the track did skip over. You know, it was a little skip ahead. Uh, didn't try to clean it yet. I hope it's just a matter of a little cleaning or something. It's not a permanent skip. But it's UK, so... Also, in the album... When I opened up the album, this was in there. This was 
it's a, just a cover, no no record. It's an EP on Decca, UK. Nice picture sleeve. But uh, it was a freebie. I said to the guy, I showed him that it was in here. I said, did you realize this was in here? He said, no, but you can, you can just have it. So he gave it to me for nothing. So that's good. And uh, from that collection, I guess, of uh, the 50s stuff that I was referring to with Little Richard, here's the very best of D.D. Sharp. And I took a chance on it because I like the song Mashed Potato Time. And uh, I was able to listen to this uh, recently before I bought it because uh, the turntable in the back of the store with headphones for your listening and sampling. And also you got stuff here like Rockin' Robin and He's So Fine. It sounded good. Here's an Elvis album that I needed. It's on the Camden label. Let's Be Friends. I love this cover. Really good picture of Elvis from 69. Special, originally $1.89. <laughs> this is in the uh, still in shrink wrap here. So that's nice. Love the cover. Here's an album that I needed for a while. This is a television album uh, called Elvis double record set. This is a Canadian. It's not uh, It's not American. Uh, I was going to wait for the American one, but uh, the reason I got this is because it had had a uh, booklet with it, a tour book, and there it is. This came with it. It's a nice book with a lot of good concert pictures of Elvis in it. And Look at that. Elvis in Hollywood. I always like that picture of Elvis. And uh, here's a soundtrack album to Paradise Hawaiian style, original mono. It's still in shrink wrap. It's got shrink on it. Look at that. Manufacturer's list price, $379. You pay only $279. <laughs> now, the story about this was, this was an album I needed for so long, and it wasn't showing up anywhere. One day, I asked a guy in the record store if I could go in his overstock and look at some Elvis stuff. He said, sure, and here it was. Not only was it there, but it was with the cellophane. You get the best of both worlds. I mean, just, I don't know how many months or years this thing was under there. A lot of that stuff never gets put out. And I don't even understand why, but I was able to find it. Here's an interesting item, probably from that guy's 50s collection. Again, Richie Valens in concert at, I'm going to try to pronounce this, Pacoima Junior High. It's a high school performance, and uh, the sound is pretty good on it. I thought this was an interesting item. And get you get to hear him do a lot of his stuff that you know, you know, so pretty good. This is a Chubby Checker album for Twisters Only in great shape. You know, I like some Chubby Checker. And the reason that I got it was the songs on here, there are a lot of interesting songs that I didn't know he did. Songs like Blueberry Hill, Your Feet's Too Big, Hound Dog, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, Hold Tight, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, At the Hop, and Rock Around the Clock. So. My girlfriend loves Barbara Streisand, and one day uh, recently while I was poking around, I found these in uh, the overstock. Barbara Streisand, the first three albums, $3 only. Each one $3 in the shrink. In great shape on original uh, Columbia. That's My Name is Barbara. The first one. So... Yeah, my, I got it mostly for my girlfriend, but I do like the sound of Streisand's voice, so I'm sure I'm going to like these. Second album. And Barbara Streisand, the third album. Christmas time again. Seems this 
Christmas stuff is popping up everywhere. Here's a really nice quality copy, minty, of Sounds of Christmas, early 1960s from Johnny Mathis on Mercury. Now we get to the Sinatra stuff. This is an album that came out in 1981 and uh, I bought it sealed, never opened. It's called She Shot Me Down and uh, that's because one of the songs on here is doing the song Bang Bang that Cher, Nancy Sinatra covered. My baby shot me down. <laughs> so Here's uh, Frank Sinatra, Cycles. I uh, went through a lot of these. The covers weren't the best, but I got this one because it's a promotion copy, not for sale. But I bought it anyway. I was sold anyway. <laughs> and it's a white label promo. So, interesting back cover. You got here a photo first of Frank with Tiny Tim. Then underneath, Frank with Patty Boyd and George Harrison. Pretty good. The other day online, I was listening to a version of Sinatra doing Billy Joel's Just The Way You Are from the Trilogy album here. And I said, I got to get the Trilogy album, so I picked that up. It's a three record set. I hear my record is finished in the background. It's making dead wax sounds, so I got to hurry up with this. I don't like the needle <laughs> staying on there too long. Here's an album, Old Blue Eyes is Back. Another later album. Doing things like uh, Sending the Clowns. And well, that's the first one that sticks with me. Here's an album, uh, an Italian import. This is called I Sing the Songs. So. Okay, I showed this, a version of this, in my last Sinatra video, uh, but it was a different cover. This is a gatefold. The last one wasn't a gatefold. Sometimes you find out that the, the originals did not have a regular cover, but a gatefold cover. And it's got the words and music. A Man Alone, it's called The Words and Music of McEwen. And the last album for this video will be this one. It's a, a live album, Sinatra, the main event live. Live from Madison Square Garden, New York City, October 13th, 1974. And that's it. That's the last one here, folks. And let me take that needle off before it gets ruined.